Hello, hello, y'all. It's Jenny. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're new. I thought that I would show you my mess. Behind my mess. <laughs> um, my friend Stephanie with Coffee, Paper, and Scissors. I will link her channel below. She is also showing her messy desk, which... She says it's messy, but I always tell her she's such a neat crafter. Now, this is actually organized, but as I call it, it's an organized chaos. Like, my mama laughs at me for saying that, but I know where these things are. Now, this is not my craft room. I've set up an area in my dining room at one end of it, so I can kind of be around everybody and hear the seasonal noise going on and all the things so um, I was just gonna show you a little bit around me what you may not see when you're looking from the overhead of what I'm doing and this is the project I've been working on this is a um, a um, journal I'm making my prayer journal I'm making my sister-in-law for Christmas so I've been working on that in this bucket I just have little bits that I throw in there that I'm going to use. And then over here, just little, little randomness that I throw in the journal. So this is all kind of what I'm working on. It doesn't say this thing at all. It's usually sprawled all out, as you see when I'm filming. Um, let's see. So, like I said, um, we're going to show you her coffee, paper, scissors, and mine, and my junk, because I love seeing people's junk and how messy they are when they say they're not. <laughs> so, backing up, like, uh, I've asked Santa, or my children, for a nice orthopedic white leather office chair, but that's not happened yet, so... I sit in this chair that I've had for years and years. It's been painted a million colors. I just put a pillow and kind of make it a little bit comfortable. So I'm just going to show you this end of my dining room. And it's dark. The lighting may not be so great. I keep up there with those old bottles and stuff underneath in that um, suitcase. Just all my um, coffee dyed junk journal type pages. And I can just pull those down. Not the whole ticket, but you know, just pull down, look up there on my step stool if I need to. So there's my state cell sign, y'all probably. I mean, the state cell find last year, twenty five bucks from a local artist that at that old abandoned farmhouse. I love it. Um, y'all probably saw in a haul if you watched it. Um, and I love horses, and I love collecting vintage. Things with horses on them or you know whatnot that's my um, almost 18 and 19 year old when they were three and four <laughs> and then my nephew and um, my little boy when they were six I believe it might have been seven or eight in that photo actually so I have a red just toolbox. I kind of set this up like a vintage Christmas feel for me when I'm looking at it. So since I've been here sitting here so much this month, I can feel like I'm looking at something Christmassy. <laughs> so I just have my odd light above and I pull it down when I'm working. And then I have the ring light kind of just set up inside that. I know that's not beautiful to look at, but you're not seeing that obviously when I'm filming anyway. So, in the jars, I have a jar of buttons that I pull from, and that has my tearing ruler, a regular ruler, and then a um, just a Creative Memories wavy top ruler that broke, but I still use that half of it, um, and some paint brushes. And then the other jar, I have like um, twine and then like embroidery threads if I want to do something on paper. So, since I'm working in the um, for the design team for Cheaply Chic, this month is the Better Not Pout Traveler's Notebook Collection. 
so I've been doing um, December Daily in it. And um, Stephanie and I will also be collabing um, after this video and doing one of our December Dailies. Now, she, her style is totally different from mine. Like I said, she's a very neat crafter. I feel like she um, really has so much like just creativity and um she has amazing journals she does process videos where she actually shows you what she's doing and how she's doing it which this next year that's my goal to make the things along with you more but so i have in this little dollar tree container i don't have the lid on it right now but um i just put the pieces from my collection or the like that you know i know there's birthdays this month and such so i will i just have those divided out accordingly and then in this this is just a little egg crate i have like all my little bits like paper clips and just the little pieces little tim holtz labels tickets other things with the collection because mostly this month i'm doing christmas obviously but i am working on other things here and there in between so this little jar is just what I throw my just little bits over in as I'm working and then these are more of those Dollar Tree containers again they have lids that stack so I have some paper clips under there that I don't use that much but I do pull from from this collection and then I have the fibers that came with it and then the threads that I'm using for this so I won't have to reach across and get in that jar every time. And so in this little um, snowman um, gift box here, I just have all my things that I pulled, um, like, you know, sticker sheets and such, again, that matches, you know, the collection mainly that I'm working in. And so then I have these three Dollar Tree um, acrylic containers and these lids snap on and stay on amazingly I just have my whites and golds in there and then on top here I have um, like all of the smaller pieces that I'm using in with this particular journal and then um, over here I just have an old letter holder and I've got the larger pieces that came with the um, collection. And y'all, I said in one of my videos, this, this thing has been floating around in my garage. It's been all over my house. And the other day I was like, oh, I'm going to set it up on my desk and just slide the larger pieces on it. So this um, vintage little plate here, I just keep my hot glue gun on so it can just leak in there. Because it's all crazed and... Cracked, which I love crazing. I mean, usually I would collect something like that, but why not have beautiful things while you're crafting? So there's my heat gun. It's all plugged up back down through the bottom back there. Um, I'm just using these extra um, molding pans. Well, did I say that right? <laughs> that I have. Um, like this just has my extra glues, staples, um, tiny attacher, um, things I might use to do mixed media with, stuff like that. So this is my glass mat right here, right next to the, my craft mat. And then that way if I want to do mixed media on top of it and just wipe it off, I can. And so those are the color inks I was working on inside the prayer journal earlier. And so of course, you know, normally my bottles of glue look like this and they're just thrown everywhere but you know I, I straighten up a little because it's chaotic enough when it's clean so <laughs> but I know where things are when I'm reaching for them so we have some hand lotion because you know when you're working with paper and washing your hands like 90 times a day like your hands are get so dry extra glue um, my fabric spray so I don't have to iron and then I have um, my I like you can, using masking tape a lot, and I had gotten some green, mint green striped in the summer, 
um, masking tape also from Dollar Tree. And then in between is foam tape and three different sizes of um, double sided tape. And then, so this was my little Christmas setup over here that I sit and I see. Just bells and pom poms and this little vintage um, little um, flocked angel I had shown y'all that I got from the state sale this summer. And then I use this jade roller for, um, you know, like smoothing out surfaces and such. Probably should use it on my skin, but I don't. I'm not necessarily advertising for Young Living Essential Oils, but I do sell them if you're interested at my cost to sign up anytime. Just let me know. But these are the oils that I actually apply every day. Like, I reach for them when I, I take them when I'm crafting with my family that crafts. Like, it's like Stress Away, Peace and Calming, Cedarwood, Clarity, Valor, um, a new Envision that I had gotten with one of my orders for a couple months ago. So, I really do like the um, Young Living Essential Oils. So, okay, so this little container just says like, just, I mean, I have large containers of these things like garment pans, keys, charms, and stuff. But I just picked the few that I thought I would use right now, set them over there, and then the pom poms and bells that I do pull from and use. And that book I do as well. And that um, little um, floral container, I just have all my um, pictures that I've already printed out from my Canon selfie, so they'll be ready for me to just pull out and use for whatever day like um, this is probably my next one and went ahead and pulled the papers for it and the photos and just because I ran across them I knew I would lose them if I didn't and just paper clip the photos to them so there's a little bit of mixed media supplies back there if I want to braid that one out and try doing that on camera and I have a roll of tape that I love because this um, I have a plain roll but this um, has red on it so I love making like snippet rolls with that or just using it you know for all the things so backing up from all this mess that y'all probably cannot focus on oh my little vintage deer planter I love I got from Miss June from thrifted in a pear tree a few months ago and I love it so I just want to look at it I don't put it in I mean I had it in my living room but then I thought I'm gonna put my little um, brushes these are makeup brushes but I use them for um, stenciling or inking things and such and then in this little cork junk <laughs> little bucket my friend um, Arlene had sent me I just have all of my tools that I grab like constantly and I've been trying to put them back when I'm done every day so and I usually do not do that <laughs> so it's just like my um, exacto knife and um, small scissors sharpie pen um, my all my um, bone folder all of those things so in that Starbucks that big wide mug I have all the little Christmas bits that I saw and pulled from my craft room that I would want to use in Christmas journals. So, moving back this way, I'm just going to show you just how I'm reaching when I'm sitting, sitting in my chair. So, excuse my floor if it's not swept. So, as I sit down, I, um, I have over here, y'all have like seriously five projects going on at once right now, but so I'm making my niece for Christmas, a, she loves Star Wars, a little book that's just um, art paper inside of it so she can um, paint in it and stuff. And then I have all of the other large pieces of Christmas things that I might pull for any of the journals I'm working in or like there's a vintage garden book and I pull from it in this bin I pick up and y'all have seen during the when I'm filming like these are just thickers for this season that I will pull from 
And then underneath in that train um, suitcase, I have um, my all of my watch sheets. I don't have a ton, but I have enough that that's about a fourth away full, I guess. So under the chair, I just have a basket with these little containers and they have um, the snow and cocoa collection mainly that I'm working with or pinks and mint type things and some of them is divided like butterflies, flowers, things like that. So I have in here my whole collection from September from Cheaply Chic which is the Providence collection which I'm also going to do winter or Christmas with and then I have like another little box of ephemera pieces that would go with it. So this, my um, stepdad made me, but it just rolls out when I need it. It's just a wooden crate. Sorry for the shadows. And it has like my whites and creams, like laces and such. And then I have um, all my seam binding is just in that little Dollar Tree um, clear container there. Um, I have a bench under there, my wooden like, farmhouse bench, so I have things I pull from, such as like enamel dots and bling, things like that. There's um, that little yellow basket has all of my floral type things, like um, if it's floral trim, if it's um, floral die cuts, um, little 3D flowers, whatever, they're all in that bin. And that one, I have um, trims that again go with the journals I'm working on underneath it's just like some like shabby chic type fabrics that go with it that big basket there I got for like a dollar thrifting this summer I love that for my just my paper trash and then way under there I keep an old letter organizer where I put my little off cuts of things like the strips you cut off with 12 by 12 and um, throw those in there to make things with. So this um, popcorn tin down here, I just have my red, greens, blacks, plaids, Christmas color ribbon. And then that really heavy vintage um, iron, cast iron, I don't know what you say. I use it sometimes to hold or flatten down something, you know, if it needs to, if the glue needs to hold. So my paper trimmer, I just keep over here to pull out when I need it. And I'll just pull up on the desk. And then I have, I just pull out which colors I need of my distress outsides. And then underneath that is just like the punches I'm using right now, my crocodile and my ink blending tools. So, my sewing machine is to the right of me on my grandmother's vintage um, sewing machine and um, or stand rather my mom had painted it so I have another cake mold tin with my Christmas washies that I'm using right now the pinks and mints and such and then that little green bowl I just put my off cuts of um, little laces and trims as I'm using them and so in this little bowl I love this bowl I just love it, love it, love it. I have my giant needle, and then I just have my little bobbin refills. And these that, y'all, I don't really know how to lay these down correctly and sew like that, but maybe I'll learn. And then this is just full of thread, obviously. And down under the sewing machine, I have a bag where I had divided and just put, that's all of my, like, sorry trim, bohemian-type fabric, um, glitter top anything that is a specialty that I would use like um sorry if I move too fast that I would use like for instance on this cover I've not stitched it yet but how beautiful is that so like these specialty type fabrics that I've ordered like they go in there or these some of these were gifted to me by treasure um keeping and I'm so excited to use some of those and there's my coffee. I'm usually drinking coffee, tea, got Dr. Pepper or ginger ale. Um, let's see. So, I think that is about all that is right around me as I sit. And um, behind me, I have a whole 
um, like my hutches in here, our dining room table. Um, it's a pretty large dining room, and so I have a. I'm not going to show you because then my kitchen's like through the other side. My son's been coming up and down, so like I have a bucket full of inks. I meant of stamps behind me and baby wipes that I can just reach behind me. And then um, one big tub that I have. Um, I'm working on a very large four signature specialty journal that's a custom order. And then um, another journal. And so I have three journals up there. You can't see the other one. There's a traveler's notebook there that I'm working on also at the same time. <laughs> so... I have to do kind of whatever inspires me at that moment, unless, you know, it's like a Christmas gift and I've got to get it done like in a few days. So, um, yeah, that is my junk, my mess, my area. I do have another lamp over there. I know I need, um, to get with the lighting program, but for now <laughs> this works for me. So, um, check out Stephanie's channel. It's Stephanie with an F, S-T-E-F-A-N-I. And then it's Coffee, Paper, Scissors. But I'll link it um, below. And like I said, this will be a collab. And then we're going to do an actual collab working on something. And I'm not sure what she's working on yet. I think she... Well, she told me, but I don't know. She maybe let me and changed her mind, so... Um, I just think she's a really um, creative person. She has a wonderful gift of doing this. And so I just, um, I would love it if all of you would go over to her channel and like it. Subscribe, I mean, well, look at her video. Like it if you like it. And then subscribe and hit my bell notification underneath and hers underneath. Um, I'm almost at 500 subbies and when I reach that I will. Um, make a traveler's notebook and give away for that right now I'm doing giveaways pretty much daily by you watching my December daily videos and commenting with the question I ask so I would love it if you would go and watch her video and the one we collab on and you will also get you will get I will give away two gifts on those days it's flat mail that I'm mailing out but you'll get two I'll draw two names instead of one so, like, I'll draw one from her channel under her comments and then one from mine on this video and the other one we're collabing with. So, I think I, that about sums it up. And, y'all, that looks like a mess. But, when I sit down and I'm working and y'all see this overhead... Y'all just pretty much see just what I'm creating. And, of course, it's higher up than this. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so you don't see all the surroundings. I always wonder what everyone has around them. Now, my craft room is a whole different story. We will um, see about that after Christmas. So, there's where my um, phone actually goes and it pulls down while I record. So, I will catch y'all in the next one, and I hope you have a very blessed night or morning, whichever we upload this, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.